Yo, what's up, Sexy Samurai Squad? Today we're doing a Scumbag Saturday. I'm playing full tank support Naja because it's totally scummy and just the right amount of douchebag for today's kind of video. Let's see what he picks. Hopefully he picks a mage because that's really easy to build against. Um, if he picks... What do I do if he picks a physical? When I go like Blackthorn, Void Shield, Breastplate, Hide with Thorns, that's definitely a physical. We're both a, a, a Tethin. We're both a Tethin. Um. All right. Tighten up. It's time to show Let's how try it. Does. Let's go. Let's go. Let's just go first item full defense. Go first item breastplate. Um, Aegis or Bracer? He doesn't have any anti-heal in his kit. But I have healing in my two, so he's probably gonna go anti-heal anyways. Aegis would be good for his alt slash combo way. I'll go shell though, I think. Minions have spawned. Oh man, that was really good for me. Beat, bro. <clears throat> all right, all right, fair enough. He out clears me. I get it. I get it. Stole the red buff and got the kill there. Pretty lucky, honestly, but I think it all boils down to the fact that we kind of fragged up in terms of um, having two of each potion. So I was able to get the mana and HP I needed to even be able to contest that shit in the first place. He didn't brace her. Did he? I feel like if he bracer, that would have been a lot worse for me. Hmm. So he kept his bracer. Does that mean he wants to fight now? Oh. Doesn't mean he wants to fight now. All right, let's go back and get our get our breastplate online. We should be good now. And then next item is void shield, I think, so we can do some numbies. I don't really care about being fast, as long as I'm tanky. So boots aren't really a necessity for me right now. It's all about being super scummy, super douchebaggy, and being as tanky as damn well possible. Let's get this blue buff, that way we'll have 30% cooldown reduction at 3 minutes into the game. Uh, 
Alright, 30% CDR. So my, my boy Bouncies is going to be quick with it. I do a whole lot of nothing when it comes to damage, but also I don't need to... Actually, I was actually scared that um, I wasn't going to be able to kill him there, that's why I shot Because he was kiting for a long time and I thought for sure because he kited for so long, he would have his one back up. And I was right, he did, but uh, my shell was able to stop that from actually ending my existence. Literally, ow. Alright. Void Shield is super expensive, isn't it? 2600. Yikes, okay. I have two. How much is it? It's nine. Or it's a thousand. Okay, I was gonna say 950. But it's a thousand to get tier 3 Void Shield. So. Pretty much, I think as long as we get Void Shield, we're pretty safe in terms of like being able to compete for damage and outbox. I don't think there's much I need to do at all once I get Void Shield. Kill him here. Oh, he started spam laughing. Oh, it would be so good to get the kill here. Oh! Nice. That was so good, dude. So good, dude. Right when he started spam laughing, I sash alt him and he dies. And then I spam laugh back at him. I feel super Perfection. Perfection. Alright, what can I get? Alright, Shifter Shield. That's good. Shifter Shield gives me 70 power when I'm above 50% health. Or over 75% health. When I'm under 75% health, it gives me an extra 35 protection. Which will bring that up to a 50 protection item. So. that wave. He's not getting this red buff. Alright. Red buff down, boys. Shifters is 1750. After buying tier 1. That's not even close to as expensive as, uh, as 
void shield, is it? I wonder if shifters is better to go. Okay. Actually, he, he literally doesn't scare me at all. Because I'm so tanky. Relic, not the best trade I could have taken for sure, but it definitely is not the worst either. Uh. Uh. Oh, he's backing. All right. Alright, if you want to back, I'm down for the back. Uh, we need anti-heal now because he's building into something that heals. He's building into Soul Eater. Alright, that's a new one, man. I have not seen a Soul Eater build in a while on Ravana. I think... Hmm. Trying to figure out if I want Toxic Blade or if I want Beat Stick. I do hella damage right now, by the way. I actually have 110 power. I have 110 power and 183 protection. Alright. So we get the tower here. Your team has destroyed a middle mm, enemy tower. Just out of range. Damn it. Oh fuck you. <laughs> oh shit. Oh my god, dude, he's got a macro! Fuck! He's got a macro, he's better at scummy than me. Fuck. Oh, should he get Sunder too? I'm fighting a fucking meme lord. Oh gosh. Yo, thanks for the four follows I just got on Twitch. I don't know why that happened. I'm definitely not live streaming. But I appreciate the follows. <laughs> Damn it, crap. Soul Eater, okay. Definitely did go Soul Eater. I think I'm just going to farm up for a Toxic Blade here. I'd like my attack speed to be a little bit higher. So I got Toxic Blade. Now what do I get? Do I get Beat Stick just to make him mad? Don't stop now. I should. I need to get. No, this is. This is the support. Naja build, right? You still want to do damage, but you want to be super tanky too. The only difference is right now I only have to be physically tanky. I don't need to be magical tanky as well. So. 
I can afford a couple of like more. I can afford more flex items in this build than in a normal support build. Damn it, I suck. Load him. Come here, idiot. Oh, you're so dead. What? Why did it go so far away? He actually cannot do anything to me. I'm so tanky. Holy shit. Dude, look at my protection when my ring bounces. Wait, what gives me a protection bonus? Oh, protection debuff for hit. Oh, it only gives me protection when I hit him. Okay. Makes sense. We're gonna go Relic Dagger here. Because that's what I would get as a support. Because... Relics as support is insanely important. Plus, you know, maxes out my cooldown. Well, actually, it doesn't technically max it out. It puts it to 30, but with blue buff it maxes. So far, I mean, I can't complain. This is coming out pretty, pretty perfect. In terms of scumminess to, like, actual, like, scumminess to success ratio. It's pretty high. Alright, let's go get our Relic Dagger. Oh god, he got Titan Spade. Not only the Bane of a Titan, but it's the Bane of a boy with 200 protection too. Alright, last item in my build... Because I didn't go boots, right? So I don't really... Yeah. Dude, I am... I just did a 500 damage crit with 2300 HP. And 200 protection. Literally 5 out of 5 items. Well, I guess 4 out of 5 items is defense. If you want to count the 300 HP from Relic Dagger as defense. The other one is Toxic Blade, because it's OP. What do I want my last item to be? does nothing to me, dude. Damn. Your team has destroyed a middle enemy phoenix. Oh, I killed the back line, so my ring guys are gone. Fucking stupid. See ya, brother. Uh, uh, uh. Now you alt away. Oh. Oh, wait, 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 I gotta pause, I gotta pause. Shit, I gotta pause. Hey. <laughs> so, um... I mean, this video couldn't be more perfect, right? I got, I got full tank, like, perfect support. I got full tank, perfect support, um... What are you... Oh, this... <laughs> I got full tank perfect support items because that's exactly what a support player would do. I have 232 protection right now, which is insane. I have 2400 HP on an assassin, which is insane, which is what like I play I play Naja support in conquest quite a bit because I main jungle and support. 
Um, because they're basically the same role. One's just tanky. And um, this is pretty much how I build it. I mean, except I get boots, obviously. I get Gauntlet of Thebes and, like, Mantle and shit, but I don't need... I don't need both protections right now. I just need physical protections. Let me see. It. That was easy. <laughs> that was easy. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, until next time, guys, peace.